Good morning, MSPA. It was 20 years ago, around this time, that Mike Bear and I began planning the first ever meeting of mystery shopping providers in Orlando. That was held in February 1998. Mike made the hospitality arrangements while I sent out the invites and planned the agenda. Who would have ever thought that MSPA could become what it is today with members spanning the globe? There have been a lot of amazing things we've accomplished together through the years. Changing laws for licensing, maintaining independent contractor status for our shoppers, closing down scammers, and creating an excellent certification program, and making so many long-lasting relationships. While I haven't personally been active in conducting mystery shopping since 2005, I've been quite active in managing trade associations, organizing conferences, and as a consultant in the field of customer experience design. Also, it's a privilege to continue to serve on the Global Council for MSPA. The world of trade associations has been changing at a tremendous pace over the past few years, along with nearly every aspect of the research and mystery shopping industries. When we started MSPA, the internet was still largely contained to AOL and Prodigy. I remember at our first meeting in Orlando, how everyone was excited to sit on the technology breakout discussion. It was led by Tom Mills. Now that might have had something to do with it, but then again, technology is more exciting than governance or legal affairs. Today there are thousands of groups on the web and even more conferences, webinars, and professional associations serving the customer experience industry. During an event I organized last week called CX Talks, we had 18 different trade associations involved in planning and promoting it. We had over 400 attendees, including several mystery shopping providers. I was glad MSPA could be a part of CX Talks, even though mystery shopping was but a small part of the conversation around customer experience. It seems customer experience is still largely controlled by the marketing departments rather than operations, and mystery shopping is still a function of operations. I have no doubt Mr. MSPA will continue to grow and serve the needs of our members. MSPA needs your help to continue to evolve as a leader in the industry and as an organization that is looked upon as the authority in mystery shopping worldwide. If you have not yet volunteered with MSPA, I encourage you to get in touch with one of the board members and let them know you're willing to serve. I look forward to seeing your ideas for shaping the industry for the next 20 years. Enjoy the conference.